Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Bernie. And, and we, we work, work in the financial, financial aid office. office. Are you in STEP? Do you know all the steps necessary in applying for financial aid? Step one, you need to go ahead and go online and apply for the FAFSA. And an important thing you need to do is the student and parent need to obtain a PIN number. And the web address is www.fafsa.ed.gov. The best way to apply for financial aid is online using this method. Step two is the next important step in the financial aid process. To complete your FAFSA, you need to sign and submit it by March 2nd and use our school code. These are important factors. Uh, so accuracy and timeliness are vital in step two. Go to www.fafsa.ed.gov use our school code, sign, submit by March 2nd. And then we move to step three. Step three, the FAFSA will be returned to you electronically in your email address that you provide the federal government. Once you receive it back, your most important thing that you can do is review it to make sure it's correct. You would be amazed how many FAFSAs we get back that are not correct and have to be resubmitted. So please review your complete student aid report and if corrections are needed, return them by going back to the FAFSA website and redoing the information. And now to step four and my partner, Christy. Step four indicates to check your portfolio. One of the last important things that you need to do is you need to look at online at mycsgfresno.edu for a document request letter that you're going to receive after you apply for your FAFSA. Any documents that may be requested at that time, you want to respond quickly and turn in the documents as soon as you can. This will ensure your success in completing your financial aid file and for the financial aid office to get you awarded in a timely manner. If you have any questions at all, the financial aid office is located in the Joyal Administration Building, room 296 on the second floor. Thank you very much.